What's up? The gamer. Oh, oh, you know, it's fine. They can wait. I'm basking in the glory. Bye. Really? You, you really have to go there. Just let me bask in the glory of the belt that we've got to review today. Just wanted a chance to slap you. Oh, I know. Trust me, you get plenty of those chances. Here's the deal. I'm all ready for this belt. I've been ready for this belt. One thing I've been dying for WWE Shop to do is release this belt and some other belts. But they released this belt and I had to have this belt. And just like last week, we won a belt and raffle. <laughs> and the minute I showed her this belt, she goes, you've already got that belt. And I go, no, I don't have this version of the belt. You see, Let's let's go ahead. Let's you know you you got WCW right here. I like like I like the collecting, but I'm not that technical. Oh, here's the deal. I'm technical when it comes to this belt. For those of you that don't know, this is probably one of my favorite designs I've ever seen. Uh, this and the WCW TV title. I'm pretty much giving you away what my favorite belt is. I absolutely love this belt. When I think of WCW, I think of this belt and I think of the WCW TV title. Uh, I do think of the big gold, but you know that wasn't exactly my favorite title. So I'm talking about the WCW US title. There was two versions of that in WCW. There was the five plater and the three plater. The three plater, 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 blah, 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 blah. The three plater was my absolutely favorite belt growing up. That and the the IC. Uh, those were my two favorite on each brand. The, the three-plater, I can remember Goldberg holding, I can remember Bret Hart, I can remember all these matches, I can remember everything about this to the point. WC, I was a big WCW fan. You're telling so, your age here. I'm telling my age. I'm tell, I can't help it. I'm, I'm just, I'm so excited and I just can't hide it and I'm about to lose control. So excited. And I think she likes it. So anyways, I got the first WCW US title. It was a five-plater. It wasn't necessarily what I wanted, but... I don't think I communicated it well enough. So I got the five player. And you know what? I'm glad I did because I kind of fell in love with it. And it set me up for this one. When WWE Shop came out with it, I had to have it. I even remember reaching out to WWE Shop and telling them, I just thank you for everything, for, for sending that out. Um, didn't get it right away. But uh, thanks to Tony Tussie, again, at TNT Belt Trading. If you guys are not in that group, go to TNT Belt Trading. He does raffles twice a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays. The spots are normally $20. Uh, for more expensive belts, they can go higher. And for less expensive belts, they can go lower. But this raffle was about 20 bucks. Uh, jumped into it and won. And I got to pick basically, I actually know this was a, a free raffle. Something he does to, uh, to, to be nice to people who have either won, who have played. You know, sometimes he does it for Christmas. Sometimes he does it for special occasions. I just happened to win it, and I won anything from WWE Shop $400 or less. And I knew what I had to have, and as soon as I showed her, she wasn't happy. But I think maybe I can change her mind now. So without further ado, one of my favorite all-time belts, the reason I'm decked out in my WCW chalk line, available hopefully still at WWE Shop, um, we have the WCW 3-plate US title. Swing, swing. If this is if my name is Wayne and this is Wayne's World, this is a this is a stuff, not my wife, that makes me swing. So uh, let's go ahead. What? <laughs> swing. So let's go you ahead. Still have a tape on. Oh, you're talking about the belt. Yeah, yeah. You want to you want you want to take it off? Yeah. You can definitely take it off. <laughs> so let's let's go ahead. Do you want do you have anything you want to say about? She took it off. Oh, right. So do you have anything you want to say about this belt before we get into it? Just get into it. Just get into it. Just no small talk. There's never any small talk anymore. We don't just sit and small talk. So let's go ahead and flip this over. This is actually a pretty long belt. One thing I do love about this belt, um, they went basic like your old Figs Ink belts. Um, a lot of the, the strap was Pretty, there was no texture, there was nothing. It was a straight, flat strap, basically. There was there was no texture on it. So we're going to come over here to the male snaps. You have two by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me guess, two by eight. I'm correct, two by eight snap box. 
Um, no texturing in it. It's one of the first builds we've had in a while that had no texturing in it. Um, that's pretty much it. There's there's no box of doom because this is an actually officially licensed product. There's not going to be a, a box of doom. Um, coming over here to the first plate. This is one of the things that I loved about this build. Um, the side plates kind of remind you of that big gold. They have that ornateness to it. Um, there's no contrast at all. But you can see World Championship Wrestling. If you look very close in the middle, it's kind of like one of those 3D things. If you put your nose really close up to it, cross your eyes, back up five inches, do the hokey pokey, turn yourself around, put your left foot in, take your left foot out. Um, you can kind of see some grapplers in there. So can you see the grapplers or do you have to do all that? I have to do all that. You have to do all that. All right. So you can kind of see some grapplers. See it right in here? There's there's some grapplers grappling. See it right there? Okay. So you got World Championship Wrestling. It does kind of have that big old field. Feel. Feel. I absolutely love it. But that's not why. Well, that's one of the reasons I love this belt. But the biggest reason is coming over here into the main plate. This is by far one of my favorite main plates ever. Maybe my favorite main plate ever. I love it because it kind of has the same look. Is that IC title, that old block logo IC title? That's what title. I was thinking too. Yeah, you have your <laughs> texture, you have some uh, ornateness on each side, uh, kind of like a banner where it kind of folds in, if mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Uh, United States Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. One thing I do love about this is the it's almost a baby blue in the uh, in the U.S. logo, or in the U.S. design. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a baby blue, uh, the red and the white. They, they work, but that baby blue, there's something about it that I absolutely love. Um, the eagle, you have your big eagle. Um, it's pretty detailed. I mean, your the, the breast part of the, the, the bird kind of leaves a little bit to be desired. It kind of looks like an Easter egg. Um, <laughs> but other than that, that's just a little nitpick. I love this belt. You have the WCW at the very top. Um, you have your American flags down at the bottom. Uh, anything you want to say about this main plate because like I said it's one of my favorites so if you say anything bad about it I'm gonna go curl up in the fetal position and cry for a little while so uh, all I'm gonna say is please be gentle okay I like the <laughs> okay I like the tooling on the side just like the side plates that's my yeah favorite. that's your favorite part the lights hitting it just right the light always hits it just right so what do you think about that blue right there um, <laughs> on the five plater we have more it's of a dark blue. Yeah, we have a darker blue. As you said that. Right here, I kind of love this baby blue. And and one thing I did love about this belt, when you had the older belts back in the day, they didn't have a lot of color to them, with the exception of your globed belts, like your winged eagle. You know, you have the, the blue in the middle for the water and everything. So, but you didn't have a lot of contrasting colors. And mm -hmm. this one, you have red, white, and blue right in the center. That stuck out. That lets you know what this belt was. Um, and I think it worked perfectly. You had the black uh, borders with the United States Heavyweight Champion. And then you had that, again, you had the very top was that, that WCW logo. And that just did it for me. This is literally, um, I'm so glad I have this belt in the collection now. It's one of my favorite, it may be my favorite belt of all time. Um, I'm just glad I got it. Anything else on, on your end right here? No. Alright, so we're going to come over here to the other side plate. And it's just the same. Let me see if it's the same. Yeah, it's basically uh, World Championship Wrestling, and you have uh, one wrestler uh, doing a schoolboy on the other. I know that sounds kinky, but please watch wrestling. You know what I mean. Just a schoolboy. Just roll up. Um, but again, you have that big globe kind of texturing all the way around it, that ornateness. Um, and that's this kind of from, from this plate to this plate, this is all your your ornateness, all your, your trophiness in this build because the strap itself, there's absolutely nothing to it. We're going to go to the female snaps just because that's the way we, we do. But coming over here to the female snaps, you have two by one, two, three, four, two by five snap box. Absolutely no bordering, no texturing, no nothing in the snap straight box. Strap. Yeah, straight strap. I actually like that because it kind of reminds me of the old figs ink belts. Um, but again, it's it's kind of it kind of looks basic sometimes. It's enough with the plates; you don't need to put anything on the strap. Yeah, I, I can definitely say that. So we're gonna flip this bad boy over. By the way, it, there's not really any curving to it. And uh, last week we talked about the the NXT UK Women's Title. They had the circular patch on the back. There's the square. This one goes back to the square, so they are still doing the square, and they do the circle, the the oval. 
Um, so it's your basic backing. You have your, your plates. One thing I like about this, there's not many screws on here. I mean, it's a pretty basic, um, pretty basic belt, but it's literally sometimes it's the basic that counts, and I absolutely love this belt. So let's go ahead and flip it back over. We'll put it right here and let you bask in its glory, because again, this is literally one of my favorite belts of all time. I don't know. I don't know if we've ever talked about your favorite belts of all time. Um, I'm not expecting you to say this unless you want brownie points, but uh, what what are some of your favorite belts? Do you have one in particular, aside from like the Evolution, that uh, that you actually kind of popped out at you? Mm. Or do I got to get back? Do I got to shake the, the eight ball? And it says, come back later. Well, as soon as you said Evolution, I was like, well, you already said it. Okay, so the Evolution belt, as far as replica goes, that's your cream of the crop, and it's kind of because it's a different belt, it's a rare belt, and it's one of those that, uh, you know, you, you can kind of look at and just go, I've got that belt. Well, it's the teal. I like the teal. You like the teal? Mm -hmm. I like the teal, too. And the teal uh, winged eagle. But we've been, we've been very, yeah, and the teal winged eagle, but we've been mm -hmm. very fortunate. I think I've got almost every belt that I want. Um, I don't think, as of right now, I don't think there are many belts left that I absolutely have to have in the collection. I'm not sure about you, but... The one thing about belts, there's always new ones coming out, and you never know when it's going to hit you, and you know, you got to have it. So uh, I think I'm pretty much done. Do you have anything else that you want to say as far as uh, anything? Mm, if I want anything, it'd be minis. To of catch course, got to get those minis. Mm -hmm. uh, I've said, said if I want any other belts that's out or anything, it's pretty much the minis right now because there's too many to catch up on. Yep, I'm that I, far behind. I finally set up her minis yep. in a way that you can kind of display them all, and maybe one day we'll uh, with those. Maybe when we get those three minis coming in, uh, we can mm -hmm. pan over and show them. We've got all 55. I think you've got now, uh, so we're approaching 60. Um, believe it or not, we used to kind of think we were we were all that with the mini belts. People like Mark. Uh, UPR, um, there's there's a few other people. They have completely surpassed us. I'm so jealous of their collections. I know who she is because this guy is getting in classic, rare um, minis in. And I mean, mm -hmm. they're just, they're great. So probably the next video that you'll see us in, if we don't do anything beforehand, will probably be mini belts. So if you love mini belts, come back next week. Hopefully if we've got them. And uh I think I think that's what we're going to do our videos on. You got anything else you want to say? Just looking forward to that one. With that being said, like, comment, subscribe, and let me move this over here so you can see that WCW. Oh, yeah, what you want to do, brother, and all that good stuff. Look at the adjective, by the way. It's where the big boys play. That being said, like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you guys down the road.